No, but it was meant to be a wrinkle in his suit, wasn't it? There's allegedly a, a wrinkle along a seam. Yes, they thought they, thought they saw wire, the though. wire and thought he was being fed answers. But he mm. kept saying, don't interrupt, when no one was talking. Well, it's, <laughs> it's a very good point. He did say that, and he, yeah. it, 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 apparently he was evidently hearing voices of some sort, whether it was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and we've got a clip of this. As the politics change, his positions change. And that's not how a commander-in-chief acts. I, 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 let me finish. The intelligence I look at... <laughs> How did he get injured? Was it the all-over wax? Nearly. He, uh, he had I read a that long... football story. That was good. He had a... Oh, grubby. He had a long-running battle with... <laughs> I'm taking an interest in current affairs. <laughs> and I've just been called grubby by Tricia. <laughs> My aunt's a lesbian. <laughs> Back after the break. I thought you said you didn't watch my show. I was lying. <laughs> Have you had sex with a tortoise? Bring this number. <laughs> Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, have you found the name being called Paul? Has that been a, a problem? It's been a total burden. Yeah. <laughs> what have you changed it from? Randy Starf. <laughs> <laughs> it would take an awful long. It would take an awful long time to sign autographs, wouldn't it? That's the main reason why I changed it. Yeah. Yeah. And what about the Merton bit? That was where I happened to be living at the time. Oh, it was. <laughs> you could call yourself E11 or something, you know, it might be easier. I could call myself A to Z. <laughs> Atos. You'd, yeah, it'd be quite good, you'd be high and then... Do you say Atos? Yeah. What does that mean? Atos. <laughs> Let me, I'll write it down for you. Oh, I see. A, two, oh, I see. Yeah, Atos. Yes. yes. I see, yes. Right, that's David Blunkett. Um, was it some spectator party and um, he, he's... Uh, I didn't really follow the story, but he's having some affair with some woman. Who did you have the affair with, do you know? What does he know? Um, <laughs> no, yeah, it was, it was his girlfriend. <laughs> well, I didn't know what the fuss was about, really, because I didn't really follow the story. Why, you, probably... why don't you know what the fuss was about? She was married, there was a pregnancy... Did anyone but... in particular get pregnant? Yes, she did. Ah, no. And you're... then there was all It would have been quite big about... news if he had. Well, exactly. <laughs> Uh, well, he doesn't know. All... Shove a jumper up. He's having a pillow up. He's jumping. Wouldn't know. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. Am I? Oh God, I am and all. <laughs> was he actually in Cornwall? I mean, he could have just been in a room where they're playing tape recording to the sea, <laughs> <laughs> throwing buckets of water over him every half hour. On the night they first met, Spectator publisher Kimberly joked, "I tried to convince him I was tall and blonde." Although when he phoned the Spectator and asked for someone of that description, he ended up having phone sex with Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe that. So good. You were doing the dance to the theme music before. <laughs> show, show us that dance. You know, the... Give it a rest, love. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Straw was in Africa shaking hands with a naughty man. Mugabe. <laughs> naughty man. <laughs> It's not Graham Norton, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dictator and mass murderer. <laughs> I think a two should swap. <laughs> swap jobs for a week. Mm. How did uh, Idi Amin uh, once propose Anglo-Ugandan relations could be patched up? Making him king of Scotland. It was one, that was one thing. <laughs> That's yeah. a, a, a splendid and not unreasonable <laughs> idea. Wasn't it marrying, marrying one of the royal family? He, he suggested marrying Princess Anne. That's yeah, right. why not? <laughs> <laughs> but she apparently wasn't up for it. Miserable yeah. <laughs> old cow. Yeah, frigid. <laughs> why have you got a beard? Uh, oh, because I've been. I'm in a, I'm working on something else at the moment. Well, don't I you think... want people to know it's you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it not very good? I'm beginning to think that would be an advantage, yeah. I think it's quite rakish. Do you? Thank you very much. Men who look rakish. <laughs> oh, are you jealous? What is your problem? Are you jealous? I'm jealous of your show. Are you? Yeah, I'd love to do it. You can come on Good it. morning. On my right, people who've been beaten up in the pub. On my left, people who beat them up. Let's have a debate. <laughs> Help yourselves to alcohol, gentlemen. <laughs> Ian and Tricia have 13. Ooh. Paul and Adam have 13. On which note we say thank you to our panellists, Ian Hislop and Tricia Goddard, Paul Merton and Adam Hart-Davis. Do we have to leave it as a tie? 
No, th we have no, to win. No, no, I'm giving Paul and Adam one more point. Why? <laughs> Done it. So, on that note, uh, <laughs> Ian and Tisha have 13, and Paul and Adam have 14. It's all, all gone, all gone a little bit funny. Um, <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to say anything about uh, people in Liverpool. Uh, they're, they're not as bad as them bastards in Manchester. I, uh, <laughs> well, well, when I say Manchester, I, I, I of course mean Leeds. I, 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 I mean, I didn't mean bastards. I mean good, good people. Well, the, the real world has bit him on the arse again, isn't it? <laughs> Mr Johnson will not be meeting local council leaders. They are, after all, Liberal Democrats. No, I, want to, I want to meet them. I'd love to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's making... Uh, strip, some sort of... Stripping down a boil, have I? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah. Is that metal work going on there? I'm the last person around the house. Paul's one of the few people from that vintage who did yeah. a vocational training <laughs> in metal work. Yeah, yeah. Got uh, your, um, what grade? Uh, CSC ungraded. C <laughs> <laughs> that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> and people say his standards are falling. No. <laughs> metal work's changed a lot since I did it. They did not, they did <laughs> we didn't have metal for a start. <laughs> yeah. We had to do with paper. <laughs> Too much time, he says, is spent preparing for exams which could be used for genuine learning. I think they should do it with an it's a knockout style competition. Yeah, they yeah. just have a diploma in the middle of the room and then everyone on the outside... Has to dress up as cows. Yeah, da, 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 da. Everyone and, in. And go up a sort of greased slope. <laughs> Well, that's unfair. No... <laughs> what do you mean that's unfair? There's no... <laughs> this is the fairest system that we can't win. What, are you suggesting that some kids might have, like, suckers on their hands? <laughs> uh, impervious to the grease. Or some kids might have been coached in walking up the greasy thing. And it would be unfair. What is there he should be a coursework about, element. <laughs> he's he's wandered into the realms of fantasy <laughs> over there. Someone else has also recently had a television show pooled. Robert Kilroy Silk. Ah, yes. Another one. <laughs> His Monday night ITV quiz show, Shafted, has been dropped. <laughs> Did they break the news to him by saying the clues in the title of the programme? <laughs> Anyone remember what Kilroy's catchphrase was from that show? No. Tonight, two people could walk away with a massive cash prize that will change their lives forever. Or absolutely nothing. Their fate will be in each other's hands as they decide whether to share or to shaft. <laughs> <laughs> We've found our new Bond villain, haven't we? <laughs> that was actually taken from the UK Independence Party conference. Who <laughs> said that? It's time to share or shaft. <laughs> On a visit to the Raphael exhibition at the National Gallery, John Prescott discovers the back way to the canteen. Can you remember what happened this week to the local paper in the hometown of George Bush in Texas? Uh, apparently his hometown paper came oh. out for, uh, mm -hmm. for Kerry. What did that do to its circulation? It sank from six to down to... Three or Close. four, yeah. It halved to 482 yeah. readers, still leaving it well behind private eye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till your book comes out. He has observed, I didn't want to feel I couldn't get out my satanic Bible and relax in my bunk. <laughs> It's a satanic Bible. I suppose it's a Bible from the devil's point of view, is it? Disguise yes. myself as a snake today, did a bit of good business in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> Met two real mugs. <laughs> is that this like, Robin? You're not a Satanist, are you? Go on, Who say me? yes. Go on. Have you been to those papers? We can see Castro falling over now. Oh, good. Yes. And uh, the, in the case of Bob Dole, where was he when he fell? He was at, during the election campaign. He must have been in 1996. It was in 1996. 96. 96. So, yes, he was, a, he was at the... He first fell in 92. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at that one, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tommy Cooper had some eccentric habits, uh, according to one biographer. Tommy used to pour gin on his breakfast cereal. 
Yes, he was a big fan of Gordon's, but then aren't we all? <laughs> oh. yeah. Is that a job plug? Yeah, no, I, I, I wrote that one, Ian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I thought so. I could, uh, I could feel you. the sincerity. Thank you. I, I always confuse you with Claire Short Robin. Were you the one who resigned uh, for opportunistic reasons or conscientious reasons? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, I believe we both resigned for conscientious reasons. You still want to get in the cabinet, don't you? <laughs> I, I keep telling you I'm going to swimming lessons. I want to join the Royal Navy. <laughs> As a television presenter... So you are a Satanist? <laughs> To save money, use an old umbrella as... Use it's a poncho. An old um... <laughs> <laughs> I yes, saw you written on your order queue just there. Look. <laughs> one what? There's only one what? Yes, th should... this is a football chant. Yes. It's one Boris Johnson, there's only one Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> is it Millwall saying this? Millwall sang it to the Liverpool fans. Yeah, the deliberately bar. trying to yes. rile them with a mention like... of Boris Johnson. Yes. <laughs> the, the answer is, there's only one Boris Johnson. You've got to sing uh, it, though, is, Robin. I've already been mistaken in this programme of Satanists. I don't want to be mistaken for a Millwall <laughs> fan. <laughs> At the Labour Party conference, the announcement that McDonald's are to scrap supersized meals gets a mixed reaction. <laughs> At a reception in Buckingham Palace, the Queen notes with regret that the Prime Minister hasn't brought his wife this time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the American election, yeah, isn't it? Which was uh, uh, Bush's uh, thrilled. This is the first time he's actually won an election, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a new experience for him, isn't it? Yeah. Very touching, that phone call at the, at the end. Osama bin Laden ringing up, saying, well done. Yeah. <laughs> Hope the video helped, you know. <laughs> Which usually reliable election prediction method came up trumps again this time, according to The Independent? This yeah, might be something for Mark, actually. I've been told this subject interests you. Revolutionary socialism? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant Paul. This subject interests you. <laughs> I think it's going, going so rather well, well yes, <laughs> it was. Yeah. I've no idea. It's the petometer. The theory is the candidate with the most pets wins, and I've been told you like animals, so... <laughs> well, strictly speaking, the court case hasn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Theodore Roosevelt had 34, JFK 29, yep. Kerry 2 and Bush 3. A cat, a dog and a long-horned cow called Ophelia. <laughs> that doesn't interest me in the slightest. <laughs> it's a rather interesting spelling of the name Ophelia. O F E L I A. Ah. <laughs> well, that goes with the, the Bush motto, which was the three Fs, wasn't it? Yeah. Faith, flag, family, and That's philosophy. Three. Philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> But they seem to fall for it, the Americans. Yeah. You well, know they a lot. Why do I they fall for I, it? You know, it, it does generally seem to be the middle of the country and the, the people around the edges get out a bit more, I think. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jane, have you met any of these American politicians? I have met Clinton, yes. I was in the White House in the Oval Office. And yeah, we don't need to know the details. <laughs> um, bumper stickers were once again a big issue in the campaign. You could take your pick of hamsters for Kerry. <laughs> Don't be a girly man, vote Republican. <laughs> or lick Bush. <laughs> My personal favourite was a T-shirt uh, with a naked woman with a shaved nether regions that read, uh, read my lips, no bush in 2005. <laughs> Of course, during the campaign, the various Bushisms caught on camera have been endlessly replayed. Obviously, there's no need to play them again. But, oh. ha, ha, hey, what the hell? <laughs> I don't think we need to be subliminable about the differences. <laughs> I don't think there's a plot to try to put subliminal messages in people's minds. Prisons like Abu Ghraib. Don't misunderestimate me. me. Don't misunderestimate me. <laughs> <laughs> 
could forget this. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful. And so are we. <laughs> they never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people. And neither do we. <laughs> This may be a new one for you. Bush is confused as to the role of gynecologists in the U.S. <laughs> Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their, their love with women all across this country. <laughs> Either I'm getting cleverer or the world is getting stupider. <laughs> Who's played in America then? These oh, are played constantly, all the time constantly, in America. Yeah. And, and people go, yeah, mm -hmm. he's a man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd be better off with Bagpuss, to be honest, wouldn't they? <laughs> Bagpuss would have done Bagpuss better, wouldn't Bagpuss would have been great. <laughs> would have carried Ohio. <laughs> yeah. When the Bin Laden video came out, I thought, you'd look at that and you'd think, oh, my God, he's still alive. We'd better get someone who can get rid of him. Mm -hmm. But in America, they thought, look, Bin Laden's still around. Let's get the guy who didn't get him again. <laughs> but according to Michael Moore, the Bin Laden family and the Bush family have big political connections going way back over oil and stuff, don't they? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, Bin Laden knows that Bush isn't trying to catch him. And they need each other. Yeah. You've got to have a madman on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> it's like two Ronnies. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's holy jihad from me. <laughs> That's holy jihad from me. <laughs> Have you seen how one side of his mouth goes down and one side of his mouth goes up? And the body language experts say that that's why he wins elections, because he appeals to absolutely everybody at the same time. <laughs> people who like guys who smile, yeah, people yeah. who like guys who frown. People who like a serious guy. Who <laughs> the Democrats should have put up a Gurner. They can have Gordon Brown. <laughs> It's Spam. <laughs> spam is making a comeback. It disappeared a bit in the 80s, yes. and now it's become a very uh, a sexy, sort of groovy thing. So now people say, yes, we want Spam. Spam's coming back. Everybody loves Spam. It's waterproof, and you can get it to seal your roof. <laughs> that is correct. Actually, is yes. Partly, <laughs> partly. The reason they're relaunching it, though, um, according to the Daily Mail, is it because of all the spam you get on the internet? They reckon this is a sort of free advertising. That's exactly Spam, right. spam, every time you open your... All right. <laughs> also, it's maps backwards. <laughs> Has that confused people? Yes. <laughs> was this me or was it a backward map? I can't <laughs> think that. That's the Japanese spam advertising campaign. <laughs> Spams, are you ready, darling? <laughs> This is about the greatest chat-up line in the world. Exactly. And what is it? It's, um, it's something like, this time next year we will be laughing. Exactly right, yes. This time next year we will be laughing together. Does it work for you, Daisy? Weak at the knees. Yes. <laughs> What's the best chat-up line you've ever heard? This time next year you'll be eating Spam. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few. Um, I'll give you a guess who said this to me. Um, Dance on the table for me and... Uh, Come back to my trailer. No one need know. Is it girly men? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Did he say yes. that? Yes, he did. The Groper. The Groper, yeah. Yeah, that played well, though, California. Mm -hmm. He won anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait for the Groper. Yeah. <laughs> Good man. I'll be back to my trailer. Is he here? Is he here? Is he coming? Is he Just here? like that. <laughs> is, he, is he the mystery guest? Is he signing in? Where is he? I heard him. I heard him. So, did you hear him then? It was uncanny, it wasn't was it? Uncanny. It was uncanny. <laughs> and do you know where the Queen has been staying whilst in Germany? Yes, in the Führerbunker. <laughs> <laughs> she has been staying at the Adlon Hotel. Um, it was Hitler's favourite hotel, apparently. Also infamous for what? Did it get more infamous than being Hitler's favourite hotel? <laughs> what, the devil stays over, does he? <laughs> This is the hotel where Michael Jackson dangled his son over the balcony. I think she'd like to do it with Charles. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't marry that woman. <laughs> no, with Michael Jackson, there's something people haven't thought about, is the, uh, the impact that his case has had on other paedophiles that live Hang on a near second. him. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just stop you legally when you... <laughs> When you say Michael Jackson, and then you say other paedophiles. <laughs> it might be suggesting uh, 
Something that people haven't thought about <laughs> with Michael Jackson's forthcoming case. <laughs> Whatever the outcome. <laughs> He's a paedophile, did you know? <laughs> It's cheap photo software that is to blame for the outbreak of photo doctoring. And it's surprisingly easy to use. For example, it took me about ten minutes to knock this one up. <laughs> <laughs> he was very good. <laughs> he was very good on the night. Yeah. And in Washington, the newly elected president tries to heal the wounds of a divisive campaign. What happens every time Blair has his photo taken with Bush? They uh, end up having casual sex over a couple of pizzas. <laughs> when I say over a couple of pizzas, I mean they have the pizza. <laughs> his popularity takes an absolute nosedive. Does it, Blair? Did you know that? Blair's, it's Blair's because of pictures like this. <laughs> and this. You wonder what they've got to laugh about. Indeed. Really. They, they look like they're shopping for rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one? Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was a twin room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saucy beast. Some vets have come up with this marvellous scheme for dogs who need to have their eyes tested. They have got this test, and if a dog needs glasses, they will they will provide your dog with glasses. I mean, how you can tell that your dog needs glasses, I don't know. Yeah. Holds the Guardian at paws length. <laughs> <laughs> Can't like, read it. I don't know. What or, do you, you like or you chuck a stick and it comes back with a pensioner's leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to have a look at a dog modelling? Yeah. Them? No, I wouldn't actually. Oh well. <laughs> Funny enough, you're going to. <laughs> They're fantastic. They make all dogs look like Alan Clark. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Not only chase cars, but when they get there, they can do a bit of welding as well. <laughs> Here's another doggy with glasses on. Oh. Is that Jack Nicholson's dog? <laughs> It's a Blues Brother dog. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be very good at cleaning them, wouldn't they? Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can they tell the dog? How can the dog needs glasses? How can they tell? It's a very simple test. The dog goes to the opticians. W O O F. <laughs> exactly. If they can't do it, glasses. Yeah. <laughs> What have they also tried out but um, scrapped? Laser surgery. Does that not work on dogs? N no, it's not what I'm thinking of. How on earth will we know what you're thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's in the news, we've got a chance, but what you're thinking <laughs> of... You wouldn't want to know what no, I'm thinking of. You might be thinking of Mary Peters eating I... a jam sandwich. I've no idea. <laughs> I'm thinking of contact lenses. Well, I wouldn't have told that from your face. <laughs> Here Hearing aids for cats, yeah. that's the next thing. Neck braces for woodpeckers. Yes. <laughs> Very popular. <laughs> Very popular. So this is the latest innovation for dogs with failing eyesight, a pair of spectacles or doggles. Incidentally, if you've never seen a dog have its eyes tested, it has to read something like this. <laughs> <laughs> They've done Ian's joke, but Ian's was better. <laughs> Because they've paid for somebody to do that, they'll cut your one out and we're <laughs> stuck with that. You can guarantee it. <laughs> this is a report that highlights the explosion of 50-something women who are footloose and fancy-free. Hey, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you as Zorro, do you know that? <laughs> Zorro. Zorro. I have a little, yeah, little yeah, beard. Romantic lead with sword fight. Have you, ever, have you ever taken lessons? Zorro the gay blade. <laughs> <laughs> Not terribly appropriate. Never no. been accused of that. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Jet me to work on time. Uh, well, this again is the story which comes up with incredible frequency and is absolute nonsense. The idea being that sort of we'll all one day hail a plane in the centre of London which will take us to the countryside in three minutes. <laughs> Uh, this is what it'll be an air tax, is what they say. And they also say, you know, they also chuck in the thing, oh yeah, we'll all have our own jetpacks. It's never happened, and I'm disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Bitterly disappointed. I'm, cool. I'm looking forward to hover boots. They'll be the best. Now, what are hover boots? They're just well, they're boots that hover. Really? Um, <laughs> how high do they hover? I don't know. I've just thought of them. Oh. But, um, <laughs> I'm really disappointed. Them, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm happy now. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody see the other new travel breakthrough in the papers this week? Is it a horse that can swim underwater? <laughs> it, it, it is sort of. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Oh no! Wait a minute. 
Yes, it's the dolphin. It's a mechanical dolphin that you can buy. It's just like a real dolphin. It goes under the water and it's the same, same speed as a dolphin. And this guy reckons that people are going to buy mechanical dolphins. This is it. <laughs> now, where are you going to keep one of those dolphin things? Yeah. I mean, it's not in your thing, bath. Yeah, you, it's not the sort of thing you can use, is it? Unless you own a sea. <laughs> You've come up with jetpacks in the past. Did you come mm. up with this idea as well? You didn't. No, did no. I, I think it's, a, it's an extraordinary idea, and it will never see the light of day. Well, I saw a picture with you and a dolphin. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> what an identity oh. parade that was! <laughs> <laughs> it was a bloke at the end, did it? <laughs> Is it Miss You? Miss You Knight. Miss You Knight. Miss You Knights. Do you know when that was a hit, Paul? You're a top man on... Uh... Ooh, not really. Uh, Cliff Richard. Was it a hit for Cliff? I suppose it was. 86. Yeah. Eight, I say 85. 76. Well, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Besides Cliff, the market is currently saturated with perfumes endorsed by celebrities, including Celine Dion, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Naomi Campbell, J-Lo, Britney Spears, P. Diddy, Paris Hilton, Maria Sharapova. Far too many, when, frankly, there's only one perfume you need. Simply Des. <laughs> Get it today. Uh, no, it's all about aspirations, isn't it? Yes. So, mm. and uh, yeah. nothing we all aspire to do better than we're doing. Uh, some of us do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the same show as Ian, you see, but he's got he's had benefit of a marvelous education. Is he is he dumbing down, or am, am I way above my capabilities? <laughs> <laughs> We ended up in the same area. How do you think that's possible? He's doing the breaststroke, you're going down for the third time. Look at it that way. <laughs> oh, that was very quick. Yeah, it's a number of um, popular singing stars. Um, <laughs> Are singing variety the... performers, are they? Var no, no, lots of them are with popular beat combos. I'll... <laughs> all so right, they all are Here singing Band Aid. That's right. Can you talk us through who's there, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> OK, top right, that's Shazney, that's Jim from the Jimmies. Uh... <laughs> no, I don't know who any of them are, but they... it's Band-Aid. And they're singing... Band -Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? That's right. They've re-released it and managed to make quite a poor song slightly worse. <laughs> For this is all your fault, isn't it? I mean, you, this is... Band-Aid all started with your report, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's bollocks too, of course, because in... Um, <laughs> <laughs> in Ethiopia, they don't know it's Christmas because it isn't. Christmas is in January in Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You say they celebrate Christmas in January? They do. I didn't think they would celebrate Christmas at all. Why? Are they, are they Christians? In Ethiopia, yeah. They oh, are they? Christians. Mm. They are Coptic Christians. They're what? Co what? Coptic. Coptic. Hmm. Is that they're double jointed or something? <laughs> <laughs> Same sort of Christianity, only Jesus doesn't get on the cross. <laughs> so, happy ending. <laughs> it's always a bit of a downer, isn't it, that famous story? You've got to read the bit after that. It comes there, back again. The sequel? Yeah. yeah. This time it's personal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> you, you, you joke, but we actually had a story on the uh, 9 o'clock news some time ago about yeah. this passion play uh, that went horribly wrong. And in the uh, interval before the last act, uh -huh. uh, Jesus refused to get on the cross because he said it was dangerous. Yeah. And... <laughs> you've, got fight, you've got to learn fight. lessons from history. No, 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 this is true. <laughs> <laughs> he's a son of God, he's not going to fall for it twice, is he? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're lucky to get in the first time. <laughs> anyway, I had a fight with the stage manager, <laughs> yeah. broke Jesus' jaw, Jesus goes to hospital, yeah. terrible delay, when the curtain for the final act pulls back, yeah. Judas Iscariot's up on the cross. <laughs> That would be a Hollywood rewrite. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing what, what people will do for charity, really, isn't it, Michael? It was uh, children in need last week. And the, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, the newsreader's contribution was well up to its usual standard, wasn't it? Should we have a look? Oh, I bet this is going to be brilliant. Believe it or not, you come out of that quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you model that on, Michael? Mm. What do you mean? It's an original performance. <laughs> How dare you? Do you see that? <laughs> There's a lady in the sixth row who's quivering. 
the lady on the street who thinks you're Dale Winton. <laughs> Those are Boris's shorts. <laughs> You've known them anywhere. <laughs> yes, this is probably the end of Boris's political career. So how did all of this come to light? He was having an affair with a, a girl called Petronella Wyatt, mm -hmm. and her mother just spilled the beans. All well, of them. Not exactly. She said they're not having an affair anymore. <laughs> <laughs> which, was, which was helpful. Yeah, um, quite subtle of her, really. And, and how's Boris been coping since all of this happened? Do you know, I haven't seen him. Really? <laughs> He's been doing quite well. He's been uh, out jogging, maintaining his dignity. I advise you all very strongly. Go for a run. Get some exercise. Did and, you mislead uh, Mr Howard? Have a beautiful day. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, no comment. Are no, going, I didn't, no. Are, are you going to I've see if you're no married? Comment, no. Boris, are you going to see if you're married, do you think? I'm going to do whatever I can to see. I've got to me out. <laughs> 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 and uh, you're, Tony you're... Blair practicing for his next meeting with George W. Bush. Yeah. <laughs> What's the central allegation about the Home Secretary's conduct? <laughs> well, you've probably known better than I do. There was. Well, I've been following the story, as uh -huh. I think everybody. Well, else would you have, have sacked him, Neil? And uh, would you I, have what? Oh, I sacked. would. I would. Sacked. I would rate. <laughs> I would. I actually thought it was only my hearing was a problem, but Linda got the same misinterpretation. I, I, oh, I, I would have waited for the evidence. I would have waited for the evidence. For comedic purposes. I would have... <laughs> you would have... Sorry, love, I missed that. It's all right. It's OK. <laughs> I'm very, very old, you must yeah. understand Yeah, this. you're going into it's the House of Lords. <laughs> Basically, it's a disgrace. Um, the inquiry is going to look into something very, very small. Um, a, you know, a nanny or a rail ticket or something. Well, ignoring the main question is that, you know, Blunkett and the woman behaved like complete shit. Um, <laughs> and um, the small matter of deceiving the husband into believing that he's had two children, not just one, two, taking the boy away on holiday. Well, the father didn't even know what happened if something goes wrong. Who rings up? Pretending it's Mr and Mrs Blunkett on holiday, removing a child so that you can shag the woman in Corfu. Well, I think, think, I think that analysis... No, I haven't finished yet. I think that analysis is, uh, <laughs> is pretty good. Thing. I thought because I was shagging her and we had a deep personal relationship, she could have free rail travel on the taxpayer. Well, it, it did occur I'm to sorry, me, actually. I'm and... sorry, Mr Blunkett, I've done nothing wrong. Yes, you yeah. have, mate. <laughs> I, 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 I... I'm sorry, Lord Neil, my liege. Have you picked the title of the House of Lords? No, getting... not yet. Will you, will you be uh, going to an outfitter's to get the necessary no, robes, Your Honour? I will not. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> uh, what I understand now is there's a kind of... Uh, there's a... Well, may, I, may I raise up? Well, there's, uh, <laughs> there's one peasant that learned it place uh, already. <laughs> yes. We can only gain from here. Yes. I, no, can the, you give us a clue? It's... Say the first letter. Yeah. Of your title. What did yes. Lord Kinnock not, of... Not, is it a B? Not at this juncture. <laughs> it may well be... Is not, it a film? It's not Lord Can Budweiser. We... No. <laughs> you will be allowed to just call you Neil you, after you your title you will is be allowed to holiness. Call me Neil and you will be allowed to kneel. And I think that that's, <laughs> that's a pretty substantial concession. Mm. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> right, Ian. Um... <laughs> <laughs> totally distracted. Right, Paul. OK. I can speak this sort of youth stuff. Can you? Um, and it says, Tony, you are great. You see, GR with a figure eight mm. is great. Mm. <laughs> it's sort of patois. It's wonderful. <laughs> no, no. Have you ever been a ballet dancer, Will? Yes. Yes, I've been a ballet dancer. I've also been Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've all been something else in a former life. Ian was the Emperor of Persia, and Paul, a fluffy <laughs> ginger kitten who governed Britain. Well, hang on a minute. How come Ian gets to be Emperor of Persia and I end up being a kitten? <laughs> Linda thinks that a ginger kitten is about the highest form of living being. No, so she just it? said it would win the no. election when you couldn't. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the... Uh, it was over. The difficulty has been in the subscription of numbers from the Hellenic Republic, which gave a rather misleading view of the level of public debt. <laughs> <laughs> now then, 
Hang on, we're trying to make oh. a new host for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Swan. Lovely swan that could have beaten John Major. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and apparently you suggested recently that in fact it was Glynis who was falling and you saved her. I did, absolutely. That's right. Can we have a look again then? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Let's run again. Mind that Neil is saving Glynis. You will Paulie. notice a critical, a critical. See what yeah, is happening? Right. Right. Yes, he, yeah. she certainly uh, looks like she, she was definitely pushed falling. you. She okay. pushed you. I wouldn't have that said about my wife. What she was doing, actually, and I was cooperating, yeah. was to save her new grey boots. Ah. And as a result, that image was imprinted on the mind of a whole generation yeah. with certain political results, maybe. Uh, Next! Uh, actually, <laughs> what are you trying to prove that you weren't Canute? Yeah. Canute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Neil, has she still got the grey boots? She still has the grey boots. Oh, well, that's all right, then. <laughs> Pretty good, all right. What is the best journal for German aeronautics. Uh, Schladen first time Nerz unter Baden Fassbinder Verlagotech. That was our internationalist spokesman, Mr. Will Self. We've no, really come on since the war. We've put it behind us. Absolutely. Yeah. We've moved on as a country. Amazing. Is it Amazing. Surrender Weekly? It isn't quite there. It isn't quite there. I will not be. Twitted for my anti-German sentiment. I take it all back. Yeah, the country of, of it was Beethoven, a mistake. Kent, Holderin, Heine. I feel my breast swelling with <laughs> love for Germany. Come on, ode to joy. Yes. I, do you know we've had a lot of culture on this program? I've been very, very, very encouraged. Careful. If you sing too much music on this program, we have to pay royalties, and you don't want to bunk off the company. <laughs> Oh. He won't answer the phone, you know. He's there. <laughs> radio 5 and Radio 3 are combining. Yeah. Making so, Radio 8. That's right, Radio 8. <laughs> so they can sing the football results in Gregorian chant. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Charles <laughs> Nath, 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 Barnsley, seven. Seven, whatever. Seven. <laughs> Rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, this, this is the announcement the BBC is going to axe uh, thousands of jobs. Yeah. Do we remember Wait. how many people are going? Uh, 2,600. Yeah. 900, didn't it? 20,000. It's actually 3,000. Oh, 3,000. Well, that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's several people working on this programme that could be given the push. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice, wasn't it? Now, I'm yeah, going to give you a series of blacked-out headlines. The team who believes they can identify the story using the minimum numbers of words gets the first attempt to play. There is... Are you following this? Yes. yes. There is a point available... No. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this show? They met tune. <laughs> Look who I'm talking to. <laughs> ITV! <laughs> Right, again, then, just carry on. I'll continue, then. There's a point available for every word that remains covered. We're going to start, then, appropriately, with Ian and Julian. What... <laughs> what's your bid on this news? <laughs> You're not giving a lot of help in this one, are you? <laughs> Should we say... Uh, three? Three. Paul and Ian, what, what are you going to give us on that? Oh, right, we bid four. We bid right, four. you got to bid four. four. Right, OK. But if they bid four, we do it anyway, don't we? Well, you yeah. start, and then it goes over to them if you yeah. can't get it. Right. But that would have happened anyway, even if they hadn't bid. <laughs> I couldn't we have bid six? I mean, unless they bid one or something and they just got the... <laughs> then it was obviously going to go to them next, wasn't it? Oh, but, I mean, I'm new here. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, Ian and Julian have come up with three. That three. is the lowest bid. Name that news. <laughs> Gore, blimey, we can't find Nemo. Am I to have any say in this affair? <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. What I meant to say was Julian. I'm very happy to go with Gore, blimey. Yeah. <laughs> it might be we can't find Nemo. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you didn't get it in three, so it's over to the other team. Okay. You're going to go for it in four, right? Okay, in four. 
That's it's, good. It's got to be overfishing. We can't yeah. overfish Nemo. Or yeah. we, can't... we can't fill it, Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seems a bit graphic. Yeah. We can't net Nemo. You've got the story. Yeah. 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 Much nearer court. what we oh, said than what you said. Oh, you said oh, 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 you said corblining. No, I, I want can't. photographs of you saying <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to give you that, because even though you okay. didn't get the cord, you got the story. What more can you tell well, us? Yeah, that's right. That's we right. said... <laughs> we said we can't find Nemo. They said we can't net Nemo. Just, just listen to the audience first <laughs> thing. Is that how it worked on ITV's Name That Tune? I'll tell you but what... this is called Name That News, not Name That Tune. And also, Ted Rogers didn't put up with as much bloody aggro, either. Yeah, because... <laughs> Ted Rogers never did it. He never did. <laughs> you know what that means, Ian? Yeah, and you. <laughs> right, tell me more about the story. We've overfished, there's not enough cod, and we can't find Nemo. <laughs> Paul, what's your bid on this? Oh, we'll bid three. Three. Three for us. OK, Ian and Julian. Is five not a good bid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bid five. You can five. bid five. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go for two. Two. Oh, oh, oh. competitive now. Okay. Right, name that news. <laughs> um, I know what this is. This is so Kilroy Silk, isn't it? it Getting is. a bucket load of, of what they call on in the newspaper slurry. When the shit hit the town. <laughs> That is it, absolutely. That's it, no, we got it. Yeah, it was a bucket of slurry thrown mm. over at Robert uh, Kilroy. So I don't suppose anybody's interested in seeing those pictures, are they? No, I think, <laughs> I think anybody who could find any kind of amusement in that sort of thing is <laughs> really need psychiatric help. Is that the filth? <laughs> He's ready for another blast, the guy. <laughs> Ian, what's your bit on this? Julian, do I dare speak? One? One. We can do it in one, Kirsty. We'll, we'll do it in none. We'll do it in none. <laughs> <laughs> OK, none is obviously the lowest bid, so name that news. Now, this is where the plan might fall down. No, <laughs> it's, not, it's, a, it's a shortish word. Shortish word. And a longish word. Yeah, cause that, that couldn't have happened that often this week. No. <laughs> um, it used to do with that, um, that truffle that was kept overnight. Overnight in a fridge. Yeah, and it went off. Went off, yes. So it's... Off truffle. truffle. Off truffle. <laughs> off truffle. <laughs> off truffle. <laughs> truffle off, off truffle. <laughs> off truffle. All of those are wrong. <laughs> Ian and Julian, in one. Happy truffle. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. That can't, can't be considered news, can it? <laughs> <laughs> it was at the end of December. Yeah. Not anymore. It was once. Yes, it was once. That was an exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not going to get it, are you? I don't we know we, we might. might. <laughs> I have to give you well, we haven't evidence. even taken as long as they took over their truffle story. <laughs> yes, it but they were funny. Exactly. <laughs> 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 so, Julian, who have you written uh, speeches for? I, I don't, you know, one sort of throws the odd idea in. To who? Oh, it sounds embarrassing. Who was it? Uh, yeah. Is that no, Ian Duncan it, Smith? No, no, I mean, I... I was it Ian Duncan bit, Smith? But it was it Ian Duncan Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you weren't responsible for this, were you? When I settle on a course, I stick to it. <laughs> Do not <laughs> underestimate the determination of a quiet man. The quiet man is here to stay, and he's turning up the volume. <laughs> And the country, in a collective action, just went... <laughs> <laughs> of course, Napoleon didn't look like a leader, did he? Because he was little and squeaky voice. Yeah, but he wasn't useless, was he? <laughs> <laughs> I did talk to IDS at a charity ball, but it wasn't for long, and I really can't remember what I said to him. I'm guessing dry white wine, please, waiter. <laughs> I don't Former... think I said that, you know. Well, it's a quote from a newspaper. Of course he didn't say oh. it. <laughs> Finished? Yeah, we have. <laughs> yeah. Former editor of no, the Today... Pr <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, childish. Do, do, do carry on. Thank you. Former editor... I'm going to start now, you see. <laughs> <laughs> now the game started, you see. 
<laughs> you do this every time I'm here. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, 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 no. please. No, it's, it's our version of name that word. <laughs> Bin Laden's hideout is what? Very effective. <laughs> <laughs> is it perfectly acceptable for Osama Ball, Mr Bartholomew? <laughs> it's not from not Jane Austen. It's not from Jane Austen. It's the epitome of excellence, don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> I live eating see fop, don't you know? <laughs> Bit, yes. Pass a Windsor soup, will you? <laughs> oh, it's lovely, <laughs> didn't you need? Do you need? <laughs> <laughs> Only in Carry On Regency. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What would have been surprisingly avant-garde for rural Highbury? A kebab shop. <laughs> Signing Cherry Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I, think he's been t I think he's been taken over by a robot, you murderer. <laughs> what have you done with him? <laughs> Made a fatal mistake there. He and his lot would know nothing about <laughs> football. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I think someone else should resign. Like Blair. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's Christmas, Ronnie. You've got to get him going. Yeah. <laughs> this the spirit. Oh, by Joe. This must be about Charles saying that he will eventually marry Camilla. And with the Queen's blessing, I presume. But when will he marry her? Ah, after all the to-do with the dead ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Has there been much to-do about... <laughs> There's been quite a to-do, yes. Really? Yes. Why do you think it's leaked out now at this particular time, you see? Because... Well, that she's well, dead. Well, the day... Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't keep it quiet any no, longer. No, no. Smoker finally runs out of puff. Is this about a very old woman yeah. who died aged... 100 mm. years old. She was over 100. And she smoked all her life. All her life. They had a little funeral for her and they had flowers in the shape of a fag. <laughs> <laughs> and they buried her with her favourite brand. <laughs> Look. She wasn't cremated, was she? <laughs> <laughs> All the smoke is hanging around outside, <laughs> getting a suck off the chimney. <laughs> this is Mary Ellis, who died, who died oh aged oh 105. Doesn't look a day over 106. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously given her the thrill of a lifetime, isn't it? Yes. I think this is bullying staff of sellotape that to her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she gave up when she was 60. <laughs> A matron at her nursing home said she smoked right up to the end and for a couple of days afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what a tea towel buyer from one of the big supermarkets told the mail this week? No. No. What <laughs> 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 did a tea towel side from one of the big supermarkets take the mail this week? Well... He said, we're washed up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, clear up whether or not you did threaten to overrule Derek Lewis when you were home oh, secretary? Come on, Jeremy. You're really going to go back over that You've again? You've had seven years uh, to think uh, about uh, it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Didn't he chop his head off? Oh, look, look, his head has come off. Yes. Oh. Yes. It's a bit gruesome, isn't it? Well, oh. I don't like it. Is this no, some sort no. of terrorist Does that offend effect? you? Yeah, it does offend me, yeah, actually. I'm going... <laughs> Yeah, I would have thought you'd seen a few things more offensive than that in your time. You did Paul Gallery. <laughs> oh. Oh. Smack him, Amanda, smack him. She's on my side. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this is the exhibition at Mad Madame Tussauds featuring celebrities as characters in the nativity scene. There have been a number of complaints about the scene, which features Graham Norton, Kylie Minogue, David Beckham and George W. Bush <laughs> as... <laughs> ..as a wise man. <laughs> Although, compared to David Beckham, I suppose he is. <laughs> 
Oh. Is the one in the middle saying I got it at Billets? <laughs> Yeah. One, <laughs> one day we shall be a Christmas card. <laughs> is the father saying, doesn't look a bit like me, it's not blunt. <laughs> is the one in the middle saying, these cufflinks are a bit large? 